All right, well, happy Friday night, everyone. Got an update on the Torino. It's been a little while. The biggest thing, it's got a hood. So, got this from uh, way back early summer. from One of the guys on one of the Torino forums, or Torino pages on Facebook. Uh, turns out I had actually sold him parts about five, six years ago or so. Um, but met him part way between, uh, Fort, was it Fort Wayne and Bowling Green, Ohio. Met him about halfway between there and he hooked me up pretty good on his hood. So got it on by myself. Gaps are pretty decent. So not too bad. And it uh, latches and unlatches by itself, like it's supposed to. So, now we got hood. This one got nice solid framework on it. So, corner's a little tweaked, but that's okay. That can be fixed. For the price I paid for this hood, psh, that's like no big deal. So, now, it's even looking more like a complete car. And the other thing, got the dash all back together. Uh, dash pad uh, came out a little shinier than what I was hoping for and what I was expecting. It was uh, the Seymour brand of vinyl and plastic paints, dyes that National Parts Depot carries. Um, I usually use Semon stuff. And it dries with a little bit more satin look, but it is what it is. It can always be redone. Um, Bill, uh, the gentleman that owned this car for like 30 some years, he actually still had this dash pad stored up in his attic in his shop and uh, brought it over and gave it to me for the car to put it in the car. So, um,. Dashes back in, all the lights work in the cluster, new heater core, heaters hooked up, tunes work, got the uh, correct shift boot, and I got the chrome trim that goes around the shifter. So, got that all in. Um, got the rear package tray out, because it was just nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, got the seats out, temporarily patched, hole in the floor on each side. Eventually, I will pick up some good pans out of a uh, 72 and up Torino Montego, you know, 77 to 79 Thunderbird Cougar, or even 74 to 76 Cougar. Um, got some speakers. Got those um, out of a uh, car I finished cutting up for Glenn over at Dr. Z's. The, they were in it, some older pioneers, three ways. But they, they work good, and they go with the vintage Pioneer Super Tuner. And it all works. So uh, the metal framework for the seats is trash. Um, yeah, seat covers, you know, the seats washed up pretty good, but the seat frame is trash. So it'll be going back in just so it fills the space. Uh, the package shelf is coming from, I think it's Max. They're down in Florida. That's supposed to be here Monday. So I'll put, once I put that package tray back in and it has the pre-perforated speaker holes in it. Or, you know, holes for the speakers. So once I get that in, I will put the back seat in. And for now, the interior will be complete. Just need to do some, need to clean these seats, wipe down the door panels, wipe down the console. It's been vacuumed like a bunch of times. Um, other than that, I have some rear drums to put on it. <clears throat> when I had the back seat out and was cleaning 
found a chunk of metal well it was a weight off of one of the drums and when I took this out for a drive it had a little bit of vibration and you know it's very possible that that, that is it with the drum out, drum out of balance so bought a pair of drums just going to throw two new drums up and I got rotors from Rock Auto they actually sent me a notice a couple of them became available so I scooped them up. I'll eventually change them. The fronts were looking a little thin. I didn't think they could be cut. I just I cleaned them up with sandpaper because they were pretty rusty. I did clean, re-grease the bearings, new seals, all that. So um, that would be a good Saturday or Sunday quick project to swap out the rotors because it has new calipers and hardware and hoses and all that. So we'll put some new rotors on it. Go along with the new rear drums. So, other than that, I'm um, going to put one of my delay wiper setups in here. And uh, so we have delay wipers. And other than that, I'm going to drive it. going to take it out and do some driving and enjoying. Still a million, million little projects to do on this. But... Um, it's actually to the point where it's a running, drivable car. Take it out and cruise it, drive it. It's got heat. It's got defrost now. So, I'm happy. So, probably take it out Sunday for a, for a drive. Anyways, have a great weekend, everybody. And I will see you later.